What's going on guys? In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to replace the thumbsticks in your Joy-Cons. This guide applies to both the original Switch console and the Switch OLED. Alrighty, to complete this tutorial you're just going to need a few things. First up you're going to need some replacement Joy-Con thumbsticks. Next up you're going to need both a tri-point and Phillips screwdrivers, both sizes of 0-0. You're also going to need some tweezers, a plastic pick, and this last step is optional, and that is a piece of foam at least one centimeter thick. This is going to be used to hold the Joy-Cons while we work on them. Alrighty, so start off by turning off the console and disconnecting both the Joy-Cons from the unit. This step is optional, but it's highly recommended. Take your piece of one centimeter thick foam and cut it to shape around the Joy-Con. Next, we're gonna cut a small slit the width of the thumbstick, about halfway down the size of the Joy-Con. This is to fit both left and right Joy-Cons in the foam, as you can see here. To start, we're just going to work on the left-hand side Joy-Con to begin with. Alrighty, using your 00-sized tri-point screwdriver, remove the four screws marked on the screen. Now, take your plastic pick and gently pry apart the casing like shown on screen. Be mindful of the two flat flex cables that are still attached. Now using your tweezers, go ahead and disconnect the battery connector. And gently pry the battery out using your plastic pick. Place the battery aside and move on to the next step. Okay, taking your tweezers again, gently lift up the lever that holds the flat flex cable in place and slide it out like shown. Now take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the three screws on screen now. Keep these aside in a safe place so you don't mix them up with any other screws from the Joy-Cons. Now lift the mid-shell frame out and keep in mind that there is also one more flat flex cable still connected. Simply just take your tweezers and disconnect the cable like shown on screen. Be careful as these cables are quite fragile. Now we just need to disconnect this cable and move it aside temporarily. As it is blocking access to the other flex cable we need to disconnect to remove the rear shell from the Joy-Con. To disconnect the rear housing LED board cable, simply just lift up the lever and slide the flat flex cable upwards and out. Next we simply just need to disconnect the flat flex cable that is connected to the thumbstick. It's the same procedure as before. Now just remove the other two Phillips head screws holding in the thumbstick module. Again, keep them separated from the other screws you removed before so you don't get any mixed up. Next up, just simply lift out the thumbstick module. When removing it, be mindful of the dust gasket. Just lift out the module like shown. Now take your new thumbstick and remove it from its packaging. I have links to all these parts in the description down below. Now installation is just the reverse of removing it. Slide the thumbstick in like shown. Make sure you don't get it caught up on the dust gasket. Then replace the two Phillips head screws you put aside from before. Now take your tweezers and slide the flex cable into its appropriate connector and fold down the connector lever. To reconnect the rear housing LED board, please be mindful of how this cable goes together. There are two notches on the flat flex cable that interface with two little hooks inside of the flat flex connector. You first have to push the cable down and in and then close the lever like shown. Next, take the cable that we just temporarily moved out of the way before and reconnect it like shown, ensuring that the cable is fully seated. Next, take the cable that is attached to the trigger on the mid shell housing and slide it into its appropriate connector and close the latch. Now simply just fold over the mid frame housing be mindful of the flex cable placement as it can get pinched in the side of the plastic housing like shown. Just fold it over with the tweezers and make sure it's tucked in there nice and neat. Now reinstall the three screws holding the mid shell housing on. Next up we're going to reconnect the Joy-Con rail connector. Just slide it in like shown and close the lever. Next install the battery. Make sure the cable is folded over appropriately and the battery is installed nice and securely. And then close the rear housing shell, making sure the cables are folded in like shown on screen. Simply clip it closed and replace the four tri-point screws from earlier. Moving across to the right-hand side Joy-Con now. 
flip it over and insert it onto the foam if you're using the foam and remove the four tri-point screws from the rear of the housing. Again, keep these screws aside in a safe place so you don't lose them or mix them up with any other screws from the Joy-Con. Now again, take your plastic pick and open up the housing, being mindful of the two flat flex cables still connected. Gently disconnect the battery connector. This time we also need to disconnect the Bluetooth antenna. Just gently pry it off and keep it aside for later. Next, disconnect the Joy-Con rail connector and slide it out like shown. Now we need to remove three Phillips head screws holding in the mid shell frame housing. Be mindful of this screw here as it is very close to the flex cable for the trigger assembly. Now carefully fold over the mid frame assembly making sure not to yank on the cable and disconnect the trigger cable from the main board. Next we're going to disconnect the LED board cable as well as disconnecting the Joy-Con thumbstick module and removing its two screws to free it from the housing. Again, be mindful of the dust gasket. Just slide it out like shown on screen. Again, take your brand new thumbstick module and insert it back into the controller housing like shown. Reinstall the two Phillips head screws you removed earlier and reconnect the new Joy-Con thumbstick flat flex cable to the main board by sliding the flex cable in and closing the lever like shown. Next, we're going to reattach the LED board cable. Again, be mindful of the two notches on the flex cable that have to interface with two little clips on the flat flex connector. Next, we're going to gently reconnect the trigger cable and fold it over and be mindful of it not getting pinched up in the housing. Then reinstall the three Phillips head screws holding the mid frame housing in. Next up, slide in the Joy-Con rail flex cable into its appropriate connector and close the lever down. Reconnect the Bluetooth antenna and route its flex cable through the plastic mid shell and ensuring that it is also installed into its little slot there. Next, connect the battery back up to the main board and install it back into the housing there. Lastly, we're just gonna close up the rear shell housing of the Joy-Con, ensuring that those two flex cables aren't creased or pinched anyway. And lastly, we're just gonna close up the housing by reinstalling the four tri-wing screws into the shell, ensuring that we don't over tighten them and strip them. And this last step is very important. We need to go into the system settings with the controllers attached to the console and scroll down to controllers and sensors and calibrate control sticks. You have to do this for each controller. And once you've successfully calibrated the controllers, you're ready to go. So if you liked this tutorial, please consider subscribing. Also leave a comment down below if you successfully replaced the thumbsticks on your Joy-Cons. And until next time, see ya.